Hello everyone, my name's Mike and here at Tech Carmoon we uncover tech at home and in videos. So hit that subscribe button if you want to see more. But today I'm going to be showing you a phenomenal pack that anyone who has got Final Cut Pro should consider downloading. So let's uncover it right now. So if you're a video editor like myself, you're always looking for new ways to improve your videos. However, there are loads of different packs out there that you can buy online. And the issue is, is that once you start adding up some of these packs, it can end up actually costing you quite a pretty penny once you sort of uh, buy a few of these. Well, with today's sponsor, MotionCan, I'll be showing you not only a fantastic pack that has over 1,250 elements for Final Cut Pro, including things like transitions, backgrounds, logo intros, and more. I'll also be including a free version of this pack linked down in the description below so that all of you guys will be able to benefit from this video. So let's get into to Final Cut Pro and let me show you how to install these plugins and then go through some of the elements that this Toco graphics pack includes. I am super excited to bring this uh, to you guys because I think that this genuinely is a pack for any of you guys who are interested in video editing for either YouTube or for home videos because this pack pretty much has everything you need to get started and to give you that level of production quality that normally you would have to spend hundreds and hundreds of pounds for. In this pack, it pretty much has everything. And even the free pack has some really, really nice uh, free elements that you guys can use straight away in your videos. So once you've downloaded the pack from the website, all that you need to do is unzip the file and then everything is all laid out very, very clearly as you can see. Now, first of all, before you install anything, you want to make sure that you install the download fonts section and click on each one of these, go to the website, download them, and then install them into your computer as these fonts are what you'll find in Final Cut Pro in the transitions. Then go to the help file, which basically shows you how to install it. And it's really easy to install them. So all that you do is go to the section where it says you haven't installed Apple Motion. Now there is a different section for Apple Motion, but I'll just quickly show you how you do it if you don't have Apple Motion, because I know a lot of you guys don't. So you, all that you do is just go to the finder section and then you want to copy and paste this section over here. Then go to the finder, find where it says go, go to folder, which is just down here. And then as you can see, if you have a look, it says templates. So we press go. And as you can see, I've already downloaded the folders. All that you do is just literally copy. So open this up and then copy and paste all of these into the folder up there. And then do the same again for the transition. So copy and paste this section here into the file. Now let's move over to Final Cut Pro. And as you can see, I've got all my titles just over here. And then for transitions, it's just in this little corner over here. And we've got all the camera transitions, flat transitions, overlays. And then we've got all of our really nice titles over there. So as I mentioned before, there are so many different types of elements for Final Cut Pro. So let's start with a couple of transitions. These premium transitions will help bring your production quality to that next level. So as you can see, I've made some simple cuts over here. We go into the transitions folder and all that we do is we just select which camera transition that we want or which flat transition that we want. So for example, let's say I really like this, you know, camera transition number two, just click and drag over to the part that you want. And then all that we do is just play it back. So there you go, really nice, you know, in the same motion. And we've got so many, as you can see, just in the camera transitions, we've got 20, you know, in the flat transitions, as you can see, I think there's like just over a hundred flat transitions in there. And then again, with overlay transitions, we've got 40. So there are literally hundreds of transitions within this pack. Let's go over to flat transitions. So as you can see, we've got a few flat transitions just over here. So let's copy and drag one of these over to here or click and drag, I should say. And let's move it over to this clip over here. Now let's move our playhead to the center of it so that we can sort of see the colors. So as you can see, we've got color number one and color number two here. Now, me personally, I like to have my channel colors. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to have the turquoise for color number one. And then for color number two, let's set that to, let's just have white for that one. So we're just going to move that to the center. There you go. And now we've got the white transition with the blue that I like. So let's play that back and see how that looks. Yeah. 
that looks so good. So now let's go into some of these titles and let's start sort of adding that little bit of spice to our clips. First of all, we've got some really nice backgrounds. So, you know, if there's any backgrounds that you're looking to add to your footage, there's so many and you can adjust all these different colors. Let's just pick, I know, background 29 out of 32. Yeah, if you can't find a background you like, I mean, there's probably not gonna be much hope for you. <laughs> As you can see, we can adjust all the colors just by going into the inspector tab and we can change each individual element within this background. And it's a really nice motion. So let's play that back and see how that looks. So it looks really, really nice. But the advantage of going for a big pack like this is you can start to combine some of these effects. So for example, I absolutely love big titles. I think they look awesome and you can have them sort of in the corners here or just over the whole clip itself. Let's just pick title number 14. And what we can do is, is we can actually have this play on top of the background. All that we need to do is literally just press the option key and click on that effect and we can drag it over to copy. We'll just make a couple of copies of these. Let's shorten this little bit just down here. And then see this big title over here. If we click on that and go into the inspector, as you can see, we can change all the parameters regarding how this title looks. So we can change obviously the text. We can also change things like the font, the size of the text, the position of the text. So let's say we don't want it in the center. We want it, I know, somewhere in this corner. We can do that with all these different elements over here. We can even change things like the color as well, which is really nice. If we have now a look at what this looks like once we've added not only the backgrounds, but the big title. So by combining some of these effects, so yeah, so as you can see, just by combining those two effects, it looks absolutely brilliant absolutely brilliant so that's just by adding big title and a couple of backgrounds so that just gives you an idea on some of the other things but let's say we want to add a little bit of spice to let's say this clip over here so we've got the charging connector getting pulled out which is you know a nice simple clip but what we can do which is you know getting really popular at the moment is add a couple of these shape lines well i say a couple i mean there's nearly a hundred of them <laughs> we can add a shape line to this clip just to add that little bit of spice so what we can do is, is let's say this clip over here we can grab this title over here let's move it to the center just so we can see sort of what's going on and let's change some of these colors so as i said you've got so much adjustment with this first of all i want to have this line sort of match this line over here so all that i can do is i can just rotate it ever so slightly just so it's in line with how i want it and then we can also just use the adjustments to get it to where I want it as well. So that's where the charging connector is, perfect. And again, you can just use the transform tool as well to do this. And then let's change some of the colors. So let's, you know, add this green that I really like and let's change the other one to a white color. Let's just change the scale as well. So can you see just over here, this is the scale. So what we can do is we can just decrease it a little bit as well. So it sort of just covers that little section. And now let's see how this plays back. And you've got loads of other things like people love lower thirds as well. You might have even seen it in some of my previous videos as well. You know, I, I sort of add them for sources. So for example, you know, for video sources, I like to add them. And there's so many over here and they're all fully animated. And the great thing is, is they're really easy to adjust as well. So I've just grabbed this one, for example. And again, just so that you can see the full anima animation, just put your playhead to the middle of it. And as you can see, we can adjust obviously the name, the text, just like everything else that we've got in this pack, we can adjust absolutely everything. And again, we can even change the color as well. So, if, you know, instead of this pink, we can have this blue. So you can really customize it to suit your channel. You can even start to add things like logo reveals as well. So for example, on my channel, you know, I, I, I could use one of these as a logo reveal. So one that I really like is logo reveal 10. And now let's go to the front of the clip so we can go and add that to the front of the clip. So let's just 
put it over here. Let's move it to the center. There you go, we've got all the different elements. So we can change things like obviously the name. And again, as I said before, you can, you know, change how it looks. So, you know, I think that looks kind of nice. And then we can change, you know, things like the colors and everything. So again, with the text color, let's add that. So it looks sort of a bit more like my channel, but this logo, isn't my logo this is obviously the default but what we can do is is we can actually add our own logo so see where it says the drop zone just click on the drop zone then go into your library and select the clip that you want and as you can see it's now changed it to my logo one thing that we can also do is let's say uh, it's not quite big enough i want it a little bit bigger we'll go into the scale and we can just increase the scale of it a little bit so 10 percent i think looks good and then what we can also do is just change the position of the logo, but for me, it looks quite nice. So let's apply that to the clip. And now let's play it from the beginning and see what it looks like. So as you can see, we've got my logo coming in, we've got all the effects and there you go. It just looks so, so good. And the good thing is as well is for example, with this logo, you know, we can see that it's obviously going into the circle and at the end of it, it just sort of stays there and then cuts into my clip. Well, what we can, like I said before, is we can start adding this, these elements that uh, Motion Can has in this pack with each other. So let's add a nice transition to the beginning of the clip. So what we'll do is, is we'll go into the transition, go into overlay transition, and I know it's this clip over here. So can you see it sort of goes in and then covers it. So let's add that to that section over there and let's play that whole clip out again and see how much better it looks by adding these elements within the same pack to our video. So there you go. So we've got the circle opening. We've got my logo coming up with my name and there you go. Perfectly transitions now into the beginning part of the video. I've just obviously touched the surface with this, but let's talk about one more thing that I think you guys will really appreciate, and that is things like infographics. So obviously being a tech channel, you know, we like to talk about specs. So as you can see, we've got the infographics just over here. So again, if we wanted to add, let's say these infographs, we can just click and drag over to the clip that we want. And the nice thing with, again, these infographs is that we can adjust absolutely everything. So for example, we can change obviously the title and then the different uh, sections underneath each of the graphs. So obviously this is a circular graph. And then if we scroll all the way down, we can change the colors, for example, we can change the percentages as well. So if, if we have a look here, we can, you know, change the values. So let's say, you know, instead of this being at sort of 80%, let's say that was at 20% then we just change that to 20%. So now it goes 19. So just be aware that obviously it goes one less than what you type in. So if we wanted it at 20, we would just type in 21, really, really easy. And then again, we go in to the values of A. So obviously that's not 20%. And what we do is, is we go into 20. And now that is at 20%. So it all adds up. So again, we let's say with this one, we want it at 50%. We can change that to 50% and now it's at 50% or 49%, I should say. So again, 51 just over there. So really, really easy. So we can get very accurate looking graphs. And again, we don't even need to have the background. So right now this is a, you know, sort of black background, but again, we can change the color of the background. So we can have it, you know, in the channel colors, we can have it in red, we can have it in whatever, but let's say we wanted it just on on top of me speaking we'll turn off the background by going right to the top and clicking the background off and now it's going to play the animation so what i'll do is i'm going to turn on the background and let's just make that background just that little bit darker so we can sort of see that a little bit better and let's play that clip and see how it looks see how nice that just comes up as well and as you can see, it fully animates the actual numbers as well. So 
it's a really, really nice infograph. So as you can see, this pack pretty much has everything you need to get started, as I mentioned, to bring your video game to that next level. So as I mentioned before, please click the link in the description below if you wanna pick up the full pack. It is at a fantastic price at the moment for you guys. And also, as I mentioned before, there is also a free version of this pack, which will again be linked down in the description below. Literally, the free pack has got some of these premium elements in this free pack. Now that is what I call bringing you guys some phenomenal value. But there we have it. As always, this is a discussion, so please leave a comment down below if you've enjoyed this video. And if you've also checked out the packs that I've spoken about in this video, I really wanna hear from you guys. So check out the links in the description to support the channel. If you haven't already, follow me on Twitter and Instagram at TechCarmoon. Drop me a like on this video if you've enjoyed it and hit that subscribe button if you wanna see more. Also, click on these fantastic fantastic videos if you want to see more of my face. Anyway, everyone, look after yourselves and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.